provide the, uh, that's what is essential. If, as long as fossil fuels are the cheapest energy, then people will keep burning them. And they're only cheapest because they, partly they're subsidized, but mainly because they don't pay their cost to society. So the air and water pollution that they produce causes lots of health problems and about 40,000 deaths a year in the United States and about a million worldwide. All those health costs are borne by the public, not by the fossil fuel companies. The climate costs, which are already enormous, $50 billion for New York from Sandy, $50 billion in New Jersey, uh, the drought of last summer, these, are, these have enormous cost. Who pays those? The taxpayers, basically. That drought alone took half a point off of uh, GDP growth. Some yeah, so, so uh, those costs are not built into the fossil fuels, and they should be. And the way, so what you should do is have this gradually rising price on carbon collected from the fossil fuel companies with 100% distributed to the public. It would spur the economy. And um, what do the fossil fuel companies think about that? <laughs> you know, the fossil fuel companies, well, they are the problem in a sense, but uh, you know, I dis described this to uh, a meeting of international labor leaders. And I said, if you do this, then the marketplace will make the decisions. Instead of the government saying, let's subsidize solar panels or let's subsidize this, the government usually doesn't get things right. And it doesn't provide an incentive for all the other things that could help. And there may be things that are much better than solar panels. So you have to just put the price on carbon, let the marketplace decide whether it's solar panels or windmills or energy efficiency or some things that we haven't thought of. Uh, but this, an international labor leader stood up and said, that's libertarian, letting the marketplace. Uh, uh, of course, it is libertarian with a small L, but it's also populist because most people are going to get more in their dividend, and, and it gives them the opportunity to reduce their carbon footprint and, and make money in the process, but it's also democratic because it treats everybody equally.